So we made it to Washington. It was a three day drive, 14.5 hours, 992 miles. And I'm here and I'm excited. You know, just driving up to Bellingham, those that know where Bellingham is, it's about an hour and 30 minutes south of Seattle and about an hour and 10 minutes south of Canada. But it's a nice little place, small community, about 90,000 people plus, definitely small in the Bay Area. And just driving up here felt so beautiful, just seeing the trees, seeing the forest, smelling the fresh air, rolled down my window, and it felt I was at home. And I know in, in Washington, it rains about nine months, 10 months, one year. I'm not for sure how long it rains, but we already got rain the first day. I'm a little wet already, I'm walking the dog outside, but it's great. You know, but one important thing is that, I you know, as I'm transferring my life from California to Bellingham, Washington, it's always really beautiful in life how we're able to kind of get that small motivation, small things to help keep us going forward. So before I left, some clients gave me some wonderful gifts. Some gave me a card, some gave me a, a big hug, some gave me a nice thank you. Uh, one client of mine, I have to read it, um, it says this, and this is a little plaque here, okay? Thank you, Bushwa, for sure. We are all mirrors that we see our selves in. So I'm going to say it again. We are all mirrors that we see only ourselves in. And this kind of plaque here makes me know I'm on the right journey. And that journey means that I'm helping people one step at a time. I think I said in my last vlog yesterday that, you know, I want to be rich, but now I realize I'm going to be rich by helping out more people. And in times we're going through crisis or times we're uncertain, it's little things that help keep us going. Like when I quit my full-time job, I met this guy named Stan Lau, and he said, without taking risk, you will never know success. So I took the risk. I quit my full-time job to start a personal training business, and what a wonderful thing it was. So people come into our lives, we need them, or we get small motivation. It's up to us to recognize those things, like I recognize this plot. So thank you, Bushwa, again. I appreciate this. So when you're going through life and you're going through kind of adversity, or you're going through an, a chance to take a risk or not take a risk, or a new opportunity or an old opportunity, Think about small factors that happen, small things that show up, we need them. And small things like this lets me know I'm on the right track to help people out. And that's what I'm gonna do as professional coaches, help those that are stuck and unfulfilled. So thank you again. I'm gonna keep vlogging, let you guys know my updates and keep the motivation going as I move from California to Washington. What a wonderful state. People are very friendly. It's super clean out here. I look forward to more.